Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shogh Mohammed. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued Edict 40 and 41 of 2017 appointing two directors. Edict 40 of 2017 stipulated the appointment of Abdullah Ahmed Abdullah Zayf as Director of the Directorate of Financial Systems Development at the Ministry of Finance, tasking the Minister of Finance to implement this edict, which becomes effective from the date of its issuance and to, the published, to be published in the official gazette. Edict 41 of 2017 stipulated the appointment of Sadiq al-Sheikh Mansour Mohammed al-Sitri as Director of the Directorate of Water Distribution at the Electricity and Water Affairs Authority, tasking the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs to implement this edict, which becomes effective from the date of its issuance and to be published in the official gazette. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today held a telephone call with Kuwait's newly appointed First Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, Sheikh Nasser Sabah Al Ahmed Al Sabah. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Sheikh Nasser discussed the deep-rooted ties between Bahrain and Kuwait, stressing the need to continue advancing cooperation and collaboration across all sectors. The Crown Prince congratulated Emir Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Sabah on the formation of the new government, expressing his hope that Kuwait achieves further progress and prosperity under his leadership. His Royal Highness concluded by congratulating Sheikh Nasser on his appointment, wishing him every success in supporting the new government in achieving its long term goals. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today received the Ambassador of the Republic of Turkey to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Hatun Demirir at Rafa'a Palace. The meeting marked the end of the Ambassador's service in the Kingdom. During the meeting, His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of continuing to strengthen bilateral relations and cooperation between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of Turkey across various sectors. His Royal Highness acknowledged the Turkish ambassador's role and efforts in advancing ties between the two countries, wishing her success in her future endeavors. His Royal Highness and the ambassador went on to discuss regional and international issues of common interest. The Turkish ambassador expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness, noting her appreciation for the continued support and assistance provided by His Royal Highness during her tenure in the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, held his weekly majlis today at Rafa'a Palace. Members of the Royal Family, Senior Government Officials, Members of the Shura Council and Representatives Council, Members of the Municipal Councils, Religious and Community Leaders, Journalists and Diplomats attended the majlis. His Royal Highness welcomed the broad range of visitors at the weekly majlis, which demonstrates Bahrain's commitment to rooted traditions and values that are underpinned by His Majesty the King's aspirations to maintain a strong bond amongst Bahrain society. The majlis visitors extended their appreciation and gratitude to His Royal Highness for hosting the majlis and emphasized the important role His Royal Highness plays in advancing sustainable development to guarantee prosperity and opportunity for the people of Bahrain. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, received the supporters of the Bahraini Women's Day Women in the Engineering Field, headed by the Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Supreme Supervisory Committee for Bahraini Women's Day 2017, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, at the Council's headquarters in Rafah. Her Royal Highness received the final reports of Bahraini Women's Day work scheduled for this year from Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah and honored him for supervising the committee's work. Her Royal Highness also honored the president of GPIC, Dr. Abdurrahman Jawahiri, for being an individual that supports Bahraini women's progress in society in the private sector. She affirmed the importance of Bahraini Women's Day and the support and direct follow-up from His Majesty the King that it receives, noting the success of the accompanying events and activities of Bahraini Women's Day program this year. She also hailed the efforts of the Supreme Supervisory Committee for Bahraini Women's Day. Princess Sabika commended the outcomes of the Bahraini Women's Day work schedule. Her Royal Highness also praised the recommendations of the program that focus on revising and developing the policies, legislations, work systems and academic and vocational guidance of engineers, expressing aspiration to follow up on the implementation of Women's Day outcomes. Her Royal Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to all institutions that contributed to the success of the events and activities of Bahraini Women's Day 2017. She lauded the results of the best Bahraini Women's Day Monument Design Contest, Pride, expressing admiration for the design's level and her appreciation for the engineer mentor's efforts. She expressed aspiration to see the monuments among the national landmarks in the kingdom. For his part, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah expressed thanks and appreciation to Her Royal Highness on behalf of all the committee's members, hailing Her Royal Highness's approach on Bahraini Women's Day every year. He also expressed appreciation for Her Royal Highness's unlimited support to all Bahraini Women's Day programs.
Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bin Sibrahim Al Khalifa, received at the Council's headquarters in Rafah the outgoing Ambassador of Turkey to the Kingdom, Hatun Demirir. Her Royal Highness noted the cooperation and partnership between the Kingdom and Turkey, expressing thanks to the Ambassador for her role in developing the friendship and cooperation between the two countries. For her part, the Turkish Ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation to Her Royal Highness on the warm welcome, expressing ad admiration for the Bahraini example of supporting women's progress, wishing the Kingdom and Bahraini women further developments and prosperity. Within the framework of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa's keenness to support the late His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Hamad Al Khalifa Purebred Arabian Horse Beauty Championship in memory of His Highness Sheikh Faisal, horseman and sports enthusiast. The championship is considered a Bahraini heritage that includes rare breeds of Arabian horses in the Kingdom of Bahrain, home of purebred Arabian horses. The championship is of the late His Highness Sheikh Faisal was who has witnessed great successes following the outstanding participation of Bahraini owners that were keen on participating with the purebred Arabian horses, in addition to the presence of a number of distinguished riders. The championship is considered one of the most important and popular championships among Arabian horses and equestrian sports enthusiasts. The Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation has achieved an outstanding success in organizing the latest championship, which highlighted Bahrain's interest in purebred Arabian horses. The Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation has sought to enhance the capabilities of Bahraini owners and riders for future participation in championships and sporting events for Arabian horses' beauty. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, participated in the extraordinary session of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation titled Unified Action in Solidarity with Jerusalem to discuss the American administration's acknowledgement of Jerusalem as the alleged capital of Israel and the decision to relocate the American embassy to Jerusalem. The session was held in Istanbul, Turkey, in the presence of the Turkish President and Chairman of the 13th session of the Islamic Summit Conference, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, as a member as a number of presidents and ministers. The Minister of Justice delivered Bahrain's speech, where he voiced the Kingdom's concern regarding the developments in Jerusalem. He affirmed Bahrain's unwavering support of the Palestinian cause and the people of Palestine, the right of establishing a sovereign state on the borders of June 4, 1967, with East Jerusalem as its capital, and the refugees' right to return to their homeland based on a two-state solution, according to the provisions of international legitimacy resolutions and the Arab Peace Initiative. He added that Bahrain urges the international community to commit Israel to implement its resolutions of international legitimacy and to end its occupation of all Palestinian and Arab territories through a solution that guarantees the establishment of a Palestinian state with East Jerusalem as its capital. The minister said that the U.S. administration's acknowledgement of Jerusalem affects the security and stability of the Middle East and the world, affirming that this will not change the rights of the Palestinian people in Jerusalem and other occupied Palestinian territories. He asked the international society to take responsibility towards the implementation of international resolutions regarding the Palestinian cause. The Security Council and the General Assembly adopted several important resolutions in this regard, which affirmed that all actions and decisions to change the legal and historical status of Jerusalem are null and void and a breach of the signed agreements. The minister concluded by thanking the Turkish president, the secretary general of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, Dr. Yusuf al Athaymin, and all the staff of the General Secretariat of the Organization for organizing the summit. The summit issued a closing statement, which affirmed the rejection of the U.S. administration's illegal statement on Jerusalem. The statement stressed that it will not give up on the aspiration to establish an independent and sovereign Palestinian state based on the 1967 borders with East Jerusalem as its capital, calling on President Trump's administration to review its illegal decision, which could cause chaos in the region. 
under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa, the Ministry of Labor and Social Development honored today the outstanding, high-achieving and productive workers and establishments in the private sector. More in this report. The Ministry of Labour and Social Development's 33rd annual honouring ceremony was held today in line with the Kingdom's National Day celebrations. The honour list includes four prominent pioneers, four outstanding establishments, a small enterprise, 11 outstanding administrators, two supporters of persons with disability and six workers, two of whom are with special needs. It is a great honour that the Ministry organises this event every year in honour of all the distinguished and outstanding workers in the private sector along with um, a number of uh, companies and uh, distinguished uh, 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 companies who, are, who give support to disabled workers for uh, recognition and um, uh, enterprises and a lot of categories that the committee work on every year. Other honorees represent the sectors of oil and gas, manufacturing industries, transportation and stores, banking, finance and insurance, contracting sector, trade, hospitality, restaurants and hotels, social activities and others. This is the first time for me to be honored with the king today and I worked 25 years with duty free shop and airport as a technician. So I'm excited today to be honored. First of all, it's a great privilege to be at this event, which is under the patronage of King Hamad. And I really appreciate um, the country and that my husband could work for this amount of time in the country of Bahrain. It is a great honor to be here. Well, first of all, uh, yes, I'm, I'm honored and I'm privileged to be here today uh, and to have uh, something like this uh, Awarded to me as uh, something great. Um, all what we do, uh, everybody honored here is they're dedicated. Uh, they're, they're all here because they do things for the country first of all and then themselves and wherever they work. So uh, everybody here um, deserves what they get, I'm sure, today and uh, congratulations to all. Eight workers from the professions that have recently attracted the national workforce were also honored. The annual honouring ceremony is part of the Kingdom's celebration of the anniversary of His Majesty King Hamad's accession to the throne and the glorious National Day. Of course, uh, this event uh, being held under the patronage of His Majesty the King and uh, alongside all the celebrations in Bahrain in December for the National Day, uh, they are all uh, give a great motivation for all the workers that to give more to um, uh, to improve in their work and even for the companies, for the administrators who give support for Bahrainis and for the improvement of Bahrainis in their workplaces. It is, uh, of course, a great honor for everyone to be part of this uh, ceremony, either by, by organizing or being honored in it. The ceremony undoubtedly increased workers' motivation and determination to continue their work to the best of their ability. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain International. I'm Barah Abdullah. Starting with the local stocks as Bahrain All Share Index has closed at 1,264.12 points, marking a decrease of 0.01 .01 points below the previous closing. The decrease was in the services sectors and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 35% of total shares. 71 transactions included 3,210,930 shares worth 521,644 Bahrain dinars. On the sidelines of the 11th WTO Ministerial Conference, which is being held in Argentina, the delegation of the Kingdom of Bahrain, headed by the Minister of Industry, Trade and Tourism, His Excellency Mr. Zayed Bar Rashid Al Zayani, participated in the meeting of the heads of delegations participating in the Conference of the World Trade Organization. The conference was opened by the President of Republic of Argentina, Mauricio Macri, in the presence of a number of head of states and Director General of the World Trade Organization, chaired by the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Government of Argentina. The conference will discuss issues of interest to the food security, fisheries support, regulations e-commerce, trade and service investment facilitation, and agricultural sector. 
the Central Bank of Bahrain, CBB, has announced its official partnership with the support of the launch of the Bahrain Bay of Financial Technology and other initiatives in the kingdom. This announcement is the latest in the series of steps that underscore the Bank of Bahrain's commitment to developing the Bahrain Regional Center to become a leader in innovation and investing in the Gulf region. The bank's Financial Technology and Innovation Unit will work closely with the Bahrain Bay of Financial Technology to support the development of Bahrain's financial technology environment, ensure the involvement of financial institutions seeking innovation and investment, and support innovators in the Bahrain Bay of Financial Technology.